Your search history holds a lot of personal information about you. It contains everything from your favorite bands and restaurants to that special gift you're planning to buy for a loved one on their birthday. And while Google doesn't want to intentionally reveal your secrets to your friends and family, there are plenty of reasons you may want to get rid of it. Luckily, there are a few easy ways to do it. To see your entire history across all the Google services you use, go to google.com and sign in to your account. Click on the icon with your first initial in the top right corner, then click My Account. From the dashboard, go to Manage your Google Activity, then scroll down and click on Go to My Activity. This will show you all the information that Google has about your browsing habits. No one but you can access this page. Google uses this data to serve ads that are tailored to your interests and make your search results more relevant. The default setting is called Bundle View, which groups your history by time frame and type of search. Click on Item View to see a list of all the individual pages you've visited. To see items from your history from a specific date or service, click on Filter by Date and Product. Select a time frame and the services you want to see results from, or type a specific term into the search bar. This is a useful feature for narrowing down the items you want to delete. You can remove anything you want from your history in a variety of ways. If you want to get rid of everything, click on the three dots in the top right corner. From the drop-down menu, select Delete Activity By. Under Delete By Date, click on the arrow next to Today and select All Time, then click Delete. When the warning appears, click OK to permanently erase your history. You can also delete items from your history individually. From the main page, click on the three dots next to any item and select Delete to erase the entire section. If there's a specific item within a section you want to get rid of, click on the three dots next to it to open the menu. Click on Details, then find the item you want to delete and click on Details again. Open the menu at the top and click Delete. To get rid of your history from a specific time, go to Delete Activity By. Under Delete By Date, select a time frame or click on Custom to choose your own exact dates, then click Delete. You can also choose to remove your history for specific Google products. Options include Ads, Image Search, Maps, News, and YouTube. There are a few other types of information that aren't included on the list of services. To see them, go to Activity Controls. Here, you can manage and delete your web and app activity, location history, device information, voice search data, and YouTube search and watch history. To view and delete your data from any of these services, click on Manage Activity. Open the menu using the three dots next to any item to remove it from your history. If you'd like to keep a copy of your search history for your records before deleting it, go to Other Google Activity. Scroll down to download your past searches and click on Create Archive. Here, you can choose the services you'd like to include in your file. Click Next and select the type of file for your archive and a maximum size. You can choose to have it sent to you via email, or upload it to Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive. When it's ready, your archive will be available to download for about a week. One thing to keep in mind is that your data is used to show you search results that are relevant to you. This means that clearing your history can change the types of ads and search results you see. If you like getting personalized suggestions based on your interests, this can be a downside. But if you want to reset everything and get results that aren't influenced by your past searches, clearing your history can give you a clean slate.